everyone, off the deal till we're here and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, how about you press that subscribe button, give this video a like, and ring that bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos. Mistress of Horror here as well. Duh. So, hmm, editors. Yeah. I don't really believe in necessarily bashing someone. Um, of course, because you're going to have a different, everyone's going to have a different experience with with set person you know what i mean if anyone wants to know who the editor was that i had they can easily message me and ask me and i will let you know um but you could possibly work fine with this person um i don't know i just maybe it's just language barrier but it's not language barrier because um she's from here but maybe like um I think maybe British. I'm not sure. Company is based in LA, but yeah, I just you know how an editor. You have to find the editor that fits for, that fits for you. Also gets your story, um, but each person is different, so you don't know what their thought process is. You know what I mean? So I I would suggest, of course, if I'm giving advice on picking an editor, I would say to Try to have an open conversation about with the editor maybe talk about some maybe some personal things maybe even though this is a business relationship that you're planning to have with this person maybe so they can get to know you as a person so they maybe know what to expect once they get your work to edit i wish i would have done that and i had some red flags of like well when messaging each other maybe we don't have the same type of attitude maybe not obviously not the same type of personality which would be fine, and you can work with people who are completely different than you, but when you're talking about books and then an artist, which is a writer, expressing their story, you kind of need to understand the writer to a degree. I paid a lot. We're going to go into price now. So, I paid about $1,500 for a copy edit and a critique edit. The book isn't that large, mind you. It was about 50,000 words. Decided to go with a critique edit on top of it because it ended up being smaller than when we signed the contract with the time I sent it to her because I cut out a lot of stuff when I did my revision. I just don't know that enough care was given. I can't say that obviously for sure because I'm not that person. But the comments and stuff from the editor that's in, on the document, as far as, like, you know, to help me correct things and things of that nature, and she did correct, like, basic grammar things. Some she did miss, of course, because human, you're human. You know, you miss things. I expect that. But when the first page has already things that you missed, then it's kind of like, did you do this in a rush job? Because, um, I mean, it was a payment plan thing. I paid it off. And it seems like you maybe waited, this person maybe waited until, like, the week that it was due to return it to me. You know what I mean? Like, instead of, like, doing it, instead of rushing, it seemed like a, I don't know, could have been a rush job. I don't know. Um, I would say if you're going to give 100% to this, and then you say you're going to take out a percentage of how much you think it was worth based to the price... I would say that I would I would say I have probably got about maybe forty five percent of what my money was worth in my opinion. I mean it's my opinion either way, you know. But I'm allowed to have an opinion when it's my money. I pay for a service. I, you know, expected me to feel that eighty percent satisfied. About 45% satisfied. Now, the copy edit stuff, is, it's not bad. It's not overly bad. Like, okay, she missed some things, which is she's human, so. But, like, some of your comments, I don't really want to give any way, anything away in my story. But seriously, I think I mentioned it before in a thing. And it's not a secret that in my book, there is the human world. And then the veil world. So it's in my book, there is a split in it. There's a veil, and then on the other side of the veil, 
live the supernatural beings in my world. That's where they reside. They can pass into the human world, and that's why we humans mix with them, and they eat us, and all those different things. That's how I do it in my book, in my story, okay? I mean, it could have been the wording, but I've read it to a few people to see if I was not picking up on the comment correctly. And I'm quite sure she was saying, because I had my main character explain it to another character in the book, about the veil because the other character is from the human world and then she, her comment says the veil isn't the place where blah 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 but it's this i mean i i could have been misinterpreting the comment which i wasn't because i read it a hot x amount of times to make sure i was understanding what i was reading and then i read it to a few other writers and they're like yeah she's definitely saying like trying to tell you what the veil is now just so we're clear this is a fiction story I mean, obviously. So, how are you going to tell the writer what something is because you may have heard of a veil from another story? That's irrelevant to my book. So that type of thing automatically throws me off. But okay, I digress on that one. I I, I will just ignore that comment and be like, okay. Okay. So that type of thing going on... I mean, I appreciate the catching things because I did do a revision, so you, you, some things get mixed up because you were changing it from a past thing. So I appreciate that, maybe not the tone, but I do appreciate catching of those things. So that that was very helpful, but I really could have had an alpha do that. This is also my fault because I should have... It kind of got mixed up because I was already kind of in the planning stages of... Hopefully having it to my elbows before it went to my editor, but things happened and I ended up sending it to my editor first. So then I was like, you know, it's no point because I'm going to get it back from the editor and then I would have two versions to edit and I would just wait till I get this version back and then send it to my alphas. <sighs> but that's not what happened. So that is what it is. The critique edit. I think that that may be the part that pissed me off the most because... It was critiqued, but I didn't feel the the entire story and book was critiqued. I felt like there were aspects critiqued. That's not what I paid for. I paid for you to critique the story and the book as a whole. You had the whole book. So the fact that I felt that the critique was more around the female lead in the story and not even enough about the main character, even if you, as a reader prefers and likes a very specific character in the book so what but i'm paying you to critique the entire book and the story and the characters in this story i don't really need very vague impressions of your opinion on the main character when i need you to give much just as much detail as you did to my sub secondary character so, in some of your some of the opinions in the critique was opinion. There's a, there's a critique, so obviously it's opinion based. So I can either take it, maybe look into it, which that's all I did. So I did guess why I said I at least got forty five percent of worth out of the edit, but I feel kind of annoyed because the price was so high, and I feel like, and I already what I did was before I edited it again because I'm editing it myself right now, self edit, and then I'm adding scenes in for the final edit before I give it to my alphas and then my betas and then my editor which is a new editor obviously but I they ran a test already they did a test on the first chapter of the edit that she did and they found a lot of stuff like they found a lot of stuff like there was a lot of red and this was two editors going in at it so yeah really 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 search around for an editor I really thought I did. I did it for months, looking for an editor. I checked people's reviews. I checked books that these editors had edited. But it did not. that in the end did not mean that it was going to turn out well for my book. And I went with this editor thinking that it would be, you know, the editor. But it's not the editor. I'm, I'm praying and I, I have a good feeling about this new editing team that I've come across. They are very promising. They did an entire chapter when my first editor only was willing to kind of do like two pages or something like that. But they did the first chapter. 
So that gave me more to go off of their style, what they do. We don't always agree with everything our editor edits or wants to edit, but if some, there's something less, you know, dramatic in it, then you can deal with that. Also, I like also I like these editors. I like their personality. To me, that's important. It's important for us to connect on another level besides you just, like, you know, answering my emails. And I just didn't... I connect better with these people, which that's what you have to do. You do have to figure out the editor. So editors are so important to us writers. Definitely the relationship between that. So I hope that the editors I have now will stay my editors, and they probably won't be getting my book until later this year because there's still a lot of work to do on it. Um, this is such a long video. It seems like such a long video. It should have been something like that was, like, really, really short. But anyway, I wanted to update you guys, and I wanted to talk about editors and give you advice in, on, you know, experience that I had with editors, with an editor, and searching for an editor. I mean, I scoured the Internet for an editor. I checked websites. I Googled things. I researched. I got, I feel annoyed because I researched so much. I read, I actually went and read some of these books that this editor had edited. And I felt that it was okay. This editor did pretty good, but okay. Mm, how do I know how much work that the writer did after they got it back from this person? You don't know that. So I think if you could get a, find an editor that's willing to at least edit a chapter, a full chapter, before you pay and decide to sign them on, that would be great. Of course, that's by editor, and they choose to do that or not. Um, I'm actually going to leave the editor that I'm going to be using in the comments. Um, in the, I'm sorry, in the description section below. So please check them out. They are a newer company, but they seem to be very competent. Um, I like them. I'm going to use them for my first book. They have convinced me. So, yeah. Th also, don't do what I did. Definitely your process. Try to follow that process where you write the book, you do a self-edit, then you do alphas, and then you edit again, and then you do the beta run, and then you edit again. And before you send it to a professional editor so you won't be spending more money than you need to because as writers we have to spend a lot of money self-published writers we have to spend a lot more money so i'm kind of you know i think i i kind of wasted some money i think it was probably worth about eight hundred dollars in all honesty i think the price that it ended up getting up to was way too much um so and then the, the the we just didn't click unfortunately we did not click so, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Um, I'll be doing another video talking about where I am in the process and where the um, when the book might come out. And also some of the other things I'm working on this year, some, some interesting, fun projects that I got through. So I'll let you guys know in the next video. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Stay scared.